What's up, the internet? Sean here, Mahalo.com, and in this step, I'd like to talk to you about Facebook phishing, and that's where somebody sends you a link where it's, oh my gosh, you're totally in this picture, oh my gosh, you have to totally click on this, or oh my gosh, you totally don't have to click on everything. So now I'm going to talk to you about Facebook phishing and how to not click on those bad links. All right, now let's talk about Facebook phishing, and all Facebook phishing is is simply where someone tries to fool you with another website or link via Facebook. So whether it be a message or a wall post or a like of some sort, that simply spreads to all of your friends or sends you to an external link that then gets your password and information. So one example of this, if you're sent a message and it says one thing, and it's also saying it's secured, you still have to look at the URL. You wanna make sure that that address actually goes to where it's supposed to go. Um, you can also just highlight the address copy paste it into Google, do a search, more times than not you'll come up with the real company or you'll come up with a few warnings. Another thing too, if you've accidentally liked something you shouldn't and you found out that this is either a phishing page or something of that sort, you simply want to unlike the page and then report it. Also if you've been a victim of any of these attacks or anything of that nature, you'll always 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 want to change your password because if you change your password, then it's not going to happen again. Otherwise, that person could still have all of your information so they can then log in again and send it to all your friends and all of their friends. So you wanna make sure if you do get tricked to change your password. Another thing too, if you wanna make your Facebook account a little bit more secure, you can use HTTPS, which is a some more of a secure connection. To do that, you simply click on account and then account settings. From your account settings, you wanna scroll down to account security and then click on Browse on Secure Connection. Then just simply hit Save. So now when you log into Facebook, you'll see HTTPS, which will give you a little bit more security when using Facebook. There you go. You now know a few more ways to avoid getting caught up in a phishing scam on Facebook, being as double-checking messages, also double-checking the URL inside of the messages, and as well as that, never giving out your password or login for Facebook because Facebook will never ask you for that information. And also, if you end up liking a page that ends up to be a phishing page or a phishing, phishing site or sends you to a bad link, remember to unlike that page and also report it. All right, guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one. And that will be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com. And remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.